Hey, this is Mr. Mason Ed, and what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to practice solving equations that contain radicals. This first example reads the square root of x is equal to 4. Now, this one can be done mentally. We should know that the square root of 16 is equal to 4. However, we're going to get used to showing the algebraic notation for these examples. So, really, what we want to do is we want to get this x all by itself. And as you can see, it is not by itself, there's a radical above it. And to cancel out a radical symbol, what you can do is you can just take that entire quantity and you can raise it to the second power. A square root and a power of 2 will always cancel each other out, leaving you with what is underneath the radical symbol, in this case just an x. And what we do to one side of our equation we have to do to the other, so on the other side we have to square 4. So we can say that x is equal to 16 because 4 to the second power is 16. All right, with this example right here, we have the square root of x minus 5 equals 0. Now notice that this minus 5 is not underneath the radical symbol. So what we have to do in this case is we have to send this minus 5 over to the other side of our equation. So we're going to do the opposite of minus 5, which is adding 5. And we balance our equation by doing the same thing to the other side. Now on the right hand side, we have 0 plus 5, which is 5. And on the left hand side, we just have the square root of x. Now we should know that the square root of 25 is equal to 5, but we're going to go ahead and show our work. So we're going to put a 2 right here, or we're going to square this quantity because a square and a square root will always cancel each other out. And we're going to go ahead and square the other side of our equation. So that leaves us with just an x on the left, and on the right hand side, 5 squared is equal to 25. All right, now with this third example, we can see that this plus 4 is actually underneath the radical symbol, so we cannot move this 4 over to the other side of our equation. So what we have to do is we have to take this entire quantity here, and we have to raise it to the second power. And what we do to the left, we do to the right. So on the left, the radical symbol and the exponent cancel each other out, leaving us with just x plus 4 on the left, and on the right, we have 3 squared, which is equal to 9. Now we can take this plus 4, which is not underneath the radical symbol anymore, and move it over on the right-hand side of our equation, leaving x all alone on the left. So we have to subtract 4 from both sides of our equation. So these opposite integers cancel out, leaving us with just x on the left. And on the right, 9 take away 4 is equal to 5. All right, let's go ahead and do some more examples. All right, the first thing we have to do with this example is we have to take this minus 11, which is not underneath the radical symbol, and move it over on the right-hand side of our equation. So we add 11 to the left and to the right. So these two terms cancel out right here, leaving us with 11 on the right. And on the left, we still have the square root of x minus 4. Now we take everything that's underneath this radical here and we square it so the square and the square root cancel each other out, leaving us with x minus 4 on the left. And we also have to square everything on the right-hand side to balance our equation, and that is going to leave us with 121 on the right. Now we have to do the opposite of minus 4, which is adding 4 to the left and to the right. So on the right-hand side, we have 125, and on the left, we have just x remaining. So for this problem, x is equal to 125. All right, now with this example here, notice we have a radical on both sides of our equation. Now if you see something like this, you can still take everything on the left and square it. And what you do to the left, you have to do to the right. So we have to square everything on the right as well. So on the left, this exponent and this square root cancel each other out, as does this exponent and this square root symbol, leaving us with x plus 3 on the left and 4x minus 3 on the right. Now we have an x term on the left and an x term on the right. So what we're going to do is we're going to move these x terms around so they're on the same side of our equation. Now, what I generally like to do is I like to have my x term positive. So to do this, I'm actually going to take 
this x here and move it over here. So this is positive 1x right here. So we're going to subtract 1x from the left and move it over on the right. So we have to subtract 1x over here. Now that's going to leave us with 3x over on the right. These x's over here on the left I have to cancel out. And we still have a positive 3 over on the left. And we have a minus 3 over here on the right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the opposite of minus 3, which is adding 3 to the right. And I'm going to add 3 to the left, which leaves me with 6 on the left. And on the right, we have 3x. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this coefficient of 3, and because it's being multiplied with x, I'm going to divide 3 by itself. So that turns into positive 1. And we divide the other side by 3 as well. 6 divided by 3 is 2. And over here, these 3s cancel out to be positive 1, leaving us with 2 equals x. Or we can say x is equal to 2. All right, let's go ahead and do two more examples. All right, so this example has a radical on the left and on the right. So what we're going to do is we are going to take this entire quantity and we're going to square it. And what we do on the left, we have to do on the right as well. So we have to square everything on this side. Now notice that this 3 is not underneath the radical symbol. So what we have to do is we have to take 3 and square it, which would give us 9. Now this exponent of 2 and the square root are going to cancel each other out. So we just have an x remaining. Now on the right hand side, we can cancel out our radical symbol and our exponent of 2. And that leaves us with 8x plus 16. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this x term and we're going to move it over on the left. And because it's positive, we're going to write a negative right underneath. So 8x minus 8x is 0. So that doesn't exist on the right hand side anymore. But we got to write this over here on the left. And 9x take away 8x is 1x, so we only have a single x left. And on the right-hand side, we have 16. And because x is isolated, or it's by itself, we already have our answer. x is equal to 16. All right, now over here, we have all of this underneath the radical. And we have to get rid of this radical by squaring this entire quantity. And we have to balance our equation by squaring everything on the right. All right, so our radical and our exponent cancel out, leaving us with 9x squared plus 2x minus 4 is equal to, now notice that 3x is not underneath the radical symbol, so we actually have to take this term and square it. So 3 squared is 9, and x to the second power is x squared. All right, what we're going to do next is this. I'm going to take this entire term here, 9x to the second power, and I'm going to move it over on the left-hand side of my equation. So I'm going to write minus 9x squared underneath. Since this is positive, I had to write the inverse, which is a negative, And I have to write it underneath this x to the second power term. Because remember, we can only combine like terms. All right, so on the right-hand side, we have nothing left because we just subtracted something from itself. And over here, these two terms cancel each other out as well, leaving us with 2x minus 4. All right, next we're going to do the opposite of minus 4, which is adding 4 to both sides of our equation. And on the right side, that leaves us with positive 4. These cancel out right here. And we still have a coefficient of 2 over on the left. So to turn that into positive 1, we divide 2 by itself. And we balance our equation by dividing 2 on the other side. And we cancel out these 2's, which gives us positive 1x on the left. And on the right, 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. So for this equation right here, x is equal to 2. All right, so we just completed solving seven equations containing radicals. Thanks for watching this video, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can be informed as new videos are uploaded to my channel.